welcome or welcome back to my channel. We have a very, very fun video today, you guys. I actually just got off work like an hour ago and I'm here right now filming because I'm working so hard. So guys, you know what that means, please. Please subscribe to my channel, please. We are gonna attempt to answer the Binibining Filipinas 2021 questions for the top 10? 15. I I'm not sure we're gonna see later because, you know, pageant rules always change. Like, they always switch it up every time. And I am going to time myself. So this is, I don't know if you can see. Wait. So that is 30 seconds, okay? Hello? Hello? Okay. So I have 30 seconds on the clock. Once my phone rings, that means the 30 seconds is over, which is so freaking crazy. Like, how the hell do you summarize everything that's going through your mind in 30 seconds and make it sound good? Obviously, you guys, I'm no beauty queen. I haven't had the training that these beautiful, amazing girls had. And honestly, it's okay if I make a fool of myself, if I sound stupid, because I'm nobody. I'm just a random woman on the internet trying to answer the top 21 questions. But I did join like a few impromptu extemporaneous speech competition like years back. And I did join like a couple pageants here and there. <laughs> just two, just two in my entire lifetime. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try to look for the clip of my Q&A portion in those if I can find one and like insert it in this video. If I can find one, I don't think I have gappies. <gasps> Why do I always wrap things? I can't breathe. But yeah, I'm gonna try to find it, insert it here. Sorry, I'm not thinking of my friends, but I say that if whatever we do, wherever we go, as long as we have the option to, let us all remember that happiness is a choice, we should all choose. But yeah, this video is obviously definitely just for fun, and so yeah, let's start answering these questions, shall we? Okay, beanie beaning, Filipinas. Why can't I type? Okay, 2021 Q&A. Ooh, we've got Rappler. Let's go for Rappler. Oh my god, I'm actually nervous. Obviously, like I'm nervous, but I'm literally just like in front of a camera right now. Nobody's listening to me and these girls were obviously like on stage, very nervous. There's so much pressure on their shoulders, so it's not the same at all, but I'm still nervous, why? Why the hell am I nervous? But okay, 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 let's just get it over with. On Sunday, July 11th, top 13. What? That's such a random number. Why 13? Okay, first question. If you can speak to all Filipinos abroad, what are you most proud of as a Pinay despite the grueling and difficult pandemic situation in the Philippines? My brain is not working, but okay, let's do it. Us Filipinos have always been known for our resiliency, but the one thing I'm most proud of from what I've seen during this entire pandemic would be the empathy and caring shown one another, specifically the community pantry, which started from a city and then became nationwide. And I think it's so heartwarming and eye-opening, honestly, to see that what the government lacked ordinary civilians and citizens were able to provide. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know, wait, what? I don't even remember what I said. The ending could definitely be better, but I think I think it was okay. I think my answer was okay, okay. You know what, I'm not even gonna talk about my answers that much, so we just have to go why the hell am I nervous? Good lord. Okay, second question. Ngayon, madalas nating naririnig na it's okay not to be okay. My question is, when is it okay not to be okay? There's a lot of okay in this. And when is it not okay to be not okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would love to live in a world where it's constantly okay to not be okay because sadness is an emotion that demands to be felt. Sometimes we need a really good cry to process what we're feeling and be able to move forward after. When is it not okay to not be okay? When we're no longer helping ourselves, when we're giving up on ourselves because help is always available, whether that comes from a professional or people we trust and love and who love us, like they exist. And I know it's un unbelievable in the moment, but healing will come. I paused too much. I paused too much, you guys. Again, I'm not a beauty queen. Okay, third one. 10 more to go. Okay. In what ways can a female public servant or politician be more effective than a male politician? Ooh, controversial. Okay. 
From what I've seen in the news, female leaders have actually done a lot better in handling the whole COVID-19 pandemic. And us women have always been labeled as the emotional ones. And I think that works in our advantage as leaders. Why? Because we care more. We listen more to the needs of people. We listen intently and we try to provide their needs because we have that maternal instinct to help other people grow and be better. And I think those factors are what make us women great leaders. Ooh! I'm getting the hang of it, you guys. And I like how I did not actually say like at the end that those are the factors that make us better leaders than men. Because I know men's ego will be a little bit fragile. I think I'm getting better, okay. Given the pandemic situation now in the Philippines, should vaccination be a choice or a mandate? Oh god, okay, okay. I highly believe in the effectivity of medicine and the vaccine and so I would be okay with it being mandatory. Getting vaccinated is not just about protecting yourself, it's also about protecting other people, the people you love and even strangers. At the end of the day, if we want to move forward as a society, be better as a society, then we should take whatever is avail available for us to get... Okay, I don't like that. Uh -huh, I'm out of time. Okay. Mm. I kind of like stumbled in my mind about what I'm gonna say at the end there. What would be a good ending? Uh, if we as a society wanna move forward and be better, then we should do whatever is available that we know can help us reach that goal. And the vaccination is exactly just that. Okay, that that sounds better. Okay, ah, okay. We kind of lost that one, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> What are your thoughts about romantic relationships which began and developed in social media during the pandemic lockdown? Mm -hmm. This is very different. Okay. Online relationships are no longer new, but I guess it's become more rampant with the entire pandemic going on. And I honestly support them and I'm very proud and happy that other people are still finding ways to build relationships and connect despite how difficult it is and i'm so so excited to see these relationships grow more as everything gets better oh we still have five seconds oh two okay <laughs> that one is okay but i don't think it's strong so it definitely could be worded better especially like at the end but yeah it is what it is Okay, I don't know if this is like the sixth or fifth, I don't know, but yeah. These days, beauty queens are also considered as beauty athletes with all the training we undergo. What is your message of inspiration to all Filipino athletes competing in the forthcoming Olympics in Japan given the pandemic situation? I would say congratulations and you are already winners. The fact that you were able to push through with your training and everything that you had to go through not just physically but mentally and emotionally as well that makes you winners not only in my eyes but in the eyes of every filipino Ooh oh nine seconds sometimes you just gotta keep it like short <laughs> because i feel like if i added more to that either i would go over time or i would lose my momentum and just like say random things <laughs> or there would be like the tendency of just like repeating what I said and using different words. So yeah, that, that was an okay answer, I think, because I immediately like answered the question itself. Like, walang paligoy-ligoy, straight to the point. Okay, so much has happened to us in the course of the year. When we emerge from this crisis, what positive change do you foresee happening to humanity in general? Okay. <clears throat> I definitely look forward to people having more compassion and empathy for others and being able to put ourselves in other people's shoes and learning and understanding where they're coming from. I think if we are going to move forward as a society in the future, we definitely have to take what we've learned about empathy and compassion throughout this whole situation and apply that to life to be better as individuals and as a society. I don't... I don't think I like that one. I kind of repeated myself at the end there, but yeah, my mind was just like wanking already. But yeah, 
Moving on, YOLO, you only live once. <laughs> okay. Name something you learned and did for the first time during the pandemic, which you consider the most life-changing of all. Okay. In the beginning of the lockdown, my company struggled adapting to the whole work from home situation. So I had no job for a couple months. I had to look for a temporary job with all this uncertainty and anxiety, not just like fi financially, but also regarding my health with a COVID scare and all. But one thing I've learned from all that that's been life changing is I just learned to trust the process and I've been kinder and gentler to myself. And I think that's helped me and it's gonna help me in the future again the ending because when i watch beauty pageants i honestly like pay a lot of attention to the ending because i think that really has the most impact so yeah i kind of i kind of don't like it when i end it like weekly but again i have no training okay <clears throat> oh this is from liza <laughs> Fake news, bashing, rants, and the like are abound in social media. Why do you think they should not be part of the new beautiful, even if they encourage social interactions on this platform? I think in this digital age, a lot of people have felt like they have the right to say just whatever comes to mind online. They do not take into consideration how what they say might affect the mental and emotional health of the person they're saying these mean hateful things to and i think it's ugly that's ugly and unnecessary there's already a pandemic and there's so much hate in the world and i think moving forward we should all just show love and kindness to one another okay okay i think i think that was okay Whew, oh my god i'm like out of breath Okay. Amid the hardships and suffering the world is facing now, if you were given a chance to face God and ask one question, what would it be and why? Oh, wow. I would simply ask God, when will all this suffering end? I think we as individuals throughout this pandemic, we've all gone through different struggles with worrying effect and impact on us and so i would just want to ask god when will it all end because i think hope is very powerful and to have that assurance that our hope is valid then i think we would be able to move forward stronger and much better as a society and individually i kind of repeated my first line i repeated it wasted time and honestly, I can never run out of things to say. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Given the reach and power of social media, do you believe that genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines nowadays? Why or why not? Mm -hmm. In this age of extensive social media use, one would think that they have freedom of expression, but I no longer think it's still genuine because whatever we post online, there's a possibility of it being criticized, hated on, being perceived differently or even twisted and made stories out of. And sometimes that make people pretentious online. And so I feel like social media platforms should work on their verification process and we as individuals should work on being still authentic online and having healthy discourse. I, again, the ending. I think my ending could be better, but okay. Wait, how many questions are there? Oh, just two. Oh, hoo -hoo. okay, okay, okay. Now that compassion is needed more than ever, what is your most recent act of kindness and how did this affect others? Okay. <clears throat> First thing that comes to mind is me donating to causes, donation drives, programs that aim to help the underprivileged and people in need. I was not donating millions, but I it came from my heart and I know I've helped a few people and that's enough. Help doesn't even have to be monetary. It can be through volunteering or joining protests to fight for these people's rights and what they deserve and amplifying their voices that are unheard. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna discuss it anymore. Okay, I want my last question. How important are luxury items like bags, clothes, and jewelry for a woman when the national economy is down and struggling? 
I grew up poor and so I'm not really one to spend much money on luxury items, especially during a pandemic. But do I judge women who do so? I do not. It's their money and their life and so I respect their decisions as much as I'd love them to respect mine. But what I would ask from them though is for them to lend a hand, to use their privilege to help others and uplift other people. Thank you. I'm just gonna end it there. There was like a lot of things on my mind, but I just wanted to end it there because I feel like I'm just gonna... Oh. And that is the last question. Wow, that was pretty quick. 30 seconds is really freaking quick, you guys. And I think I did okay. Like some questions I did like, eh, some questions, it's okay. I, I don't honestly think that I had an answer that was like, whoa, or like outstanding, but it is what it is and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching and see you on my next one i love you bye imagine me as a beauty queen she said <laughs>